<laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Here we are on 360. I'm changing my name. Hold on real quickly. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, Mr. Mafar is swamped, but he is going to try to get here. That's what he just said, but I know he is uh, full, full, full of business stuff to do, and that's good for us because he's doing it for us. Um, let me get started. What I wanted to cover is what I usually do. One thing is um, what, what we've learned in the last month and a half, maybe, that Ash uh, is taking complete control. Great idea. I love it. Um, he's working on things in the background. We know, we may not know the details, but I know enough to know that it probably wasn't a pretty sight, mm -hmm. but he will get that cleaned up. The good thing is, and the, the best thing of all, is he has the problems identified, sorted, and he's working on it. That's the best thing, as long as you know. And whatever those problems were, thank God we caught them now before we get into bigger and better things. And we are going to bigger and better things. As said, he's cooking something which Red can relate to. He's got something cooking good in the in the kitchen. So anyway, what we've been doing, and Red Red's doing it too now, is uh, bringing people on and shining the light on them. And I want to tell you, I, I really, I wanted to do it. We, we were all talked about, yeah, let's do that. Especially now while there's a little bit of time to do something different. And it's been very rewarding for, for me personally. I'm meeting a lot of people. And I mean really meeting them. There's people I've known for four and five years. But after they come on, shine the light, I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. And you find out how much it, people have that they've done, their history. Uh, the journey they've taken in life, and then you now you know why they turned out to be such great people today. And uh, yeah, we had um, who was on there this morning? Uh, Keith Merritt. Keith, Keith Merritt. He was amazing. This guy can play any instrument, and he went through his past. Phenomenal. A lot of the women, and I want to say to everybody out there. Red's now doing it. We're doing it. OTEC Pro's doing it. Um, and it's a good thing. Now, if you're in the UK area, go to Red. Uh, he, he's he's got the, he's got people that are knocking on his door now. Go ahead. That's what he wants. Uh, I want to say to everybody, if you're in a country where they're not doing that, and you can speak English, uh, hold on a minute. Shorty, Shorty. Thank you, bud. He's talking to somebody in the game. Um, you're welcome to come and get a hold of Chris. You can speak English, no doubt. You're, nobody's left out. Uh, if you don't speak English, then yeah, we can't help you because I, I have enough trouble understanding Chris Johnson. So if you don't speak English, that's, that's not a good thing. Okay. But we've learned to, to be loyal, positive, and follow what, what uh, Mr. Mafara has to say. He said, whatever you hear outside of him, don't take it as the truth. Make sure you listen to him. Yes, myself, Red, Chris, many other leaders interpret what we believe and we're, I believe, very accurate. But it's always good to go back because they're posted and listen exactly what Mr. Mufaro said. Okay, because we could be a little bit off. I know we're good. But we could make mistakes, and I don't want you to go 100%. But anyway, that is what we do. We do decipher the best we can. So far, we've done, we're not bad for the last six years. So, And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, this is the time to start thinking ahead for Chapter 2. The, the main thing we need to know is because you don't see bricks being laid, doesn't mean that things aren't being built, okay? They are being built. It's virtual. You're not going to see concrete. You're not going to see mortar mixed. You're not going to see tile. 
this is being done right now as we speak. The, the, the ball is in motion to take us to chapter two. So I'm pretty excited over, I really am. And uh, I know a lot of people are, I'm, it, it makes me feel proud to be an ambassador this many years and to see how many people are all marching forward at the same, at the same direction with the same lead. And it's a good thing. That means it, it, it's working. Okay. And you, all of you could do the same thing. If somebody out there feels like they're alone and you're watching this right now, you don't really have anybody to connect with. That's not, there's no reason for that. <clears throat> you could contact any one of us, any one of us, and we could tie you in with people, certain meetings. There's, there's always somewhere to go. You should be in with the flow. It's a, it's easier to walk with a crowd than walk alone. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red because I'm about to get into a coughing fit. Uh, here's Red Redford. Thanks very much, Marty. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Marty's just mentioned this, and certainly one of the things that uh, has definitely come out of my interviews with people in the chair and as Marty said, if you are from the UK, Europe, and you want to be interviewed by myself and tell us all about yourself and your on passive journey, just get in contact with me either on uh, Facebook Messenger via my Facebook page or redredfern number seven at gmail.com. And I would love to have you on. But the one thing that uh, I've noticed above and beyond of anything is how positive people are. Now, We've learned positivity a little bit, haven't we? And on passive, you know, it's been a journey uh, for me, nearly six years coming up. And for many, many of you, a minimum of just over two years. And learning positivity is an art, I suppose. It, it takes certain things to be able to stay the course, stay on track, stay stay positive about what we are doing. And But one thing that's come out uh, from the people is how positive they are. I mean, it, it really is amazing to listen to not only their stories of their lives, but also their journeys within on passive. And I was looking up uh, things to help stay positive. And a lot of these things make a lot of sense when you start thinking about them. And I'm just going to read a few of them out. And the, the very first one actually goes back to what our CEO was saying last week, if you remember him on 360. And he says, in, it says here, engage in positive self-talk. And he says, positive thinking usually begins with self-talk, the flow of thoughts that go through your head with uh, without being spoken aloud. Self-talk can be optimistic or pessimistic, logical or emotional. Perhaps you are wondering how to change your thoughts from negative to positive. Remember, what he said about that. He said that if you have negative thoughts, it takes up to 48 hours for it to get out of the way before you move into a positive framework. You can de uh, develop a habit of positive self-talk by adhering to simple rules. Don't say anything to yourself that you would never say to a friend or loved one. Be as acceptable, understanding, gentle and encouraging with yourself as you would with someone you hold dearly. Now, this is very positive, isn't it? You know, when you start your day off with positive thoughts, let's take Chris Johnson, for instance. How does he have his positive thoughts every single day? The same as Comfort Comfort does. They are people of prayer. They use their actions that they do with prayer in the morning to start their day off in that positive mind frame. And this is exactly what we're talking here about being able to stay positive by utilizing your daily at your daily tasks to encourage yourself to stay uh, positive. Practicing gratitude is another one. And he says uh, it is an important aspect of positive self-talking. It deserves its own entity on our list. It's very easy to dwell on negative things in life. We all have stresses and problems that can seem unsurmountable at times. But if we take a step back and think about the things that we're thankful for, it can help us maintain that positive attitude. Let's put that to the test with on passive. Look at all the positive things that have come out of on passive just because you're part of it. 
Look at the people we know. Look at the webinars we've been on. Look at what on passive has actually done with the products that we have seen so tight so so far all these are massive positives make a habit to remind yourself of what you are grateful for on a daily basis you can keep a gratitude journal if you want to and update it each evening before you go to bed for example he said all these things are of a great importance also another one is what Ash was talking about, spending time with positive people. Why? It actually rubs off. It's no secret that people we surround ourselves with profoundly influence our lives. And our relationships can impact everything from our physical health to our mental well-being. When you are around optimistic people, their good attitude rubs off on you. Being around negative people, guess what's going to happen? That's going to rub off on you as well. Being around positive people can help you to see the glass glasses half full rather than half empty. Optimistic people tend to be more fun to be around. Look at us lot. We're a blast, aren't we? And can help you enjoy life more. They may also help you to stay motivated when times are tough. Nothing can derail your efforts to develop a more positive outlook like negativity does. Never be a negative Nelly or a Debbie Downer. So make that effort to be positive. Health is another massive positive. Look at the journeys that some of us in On Passive have done already. Marty DeGarmo, prime example. Taking care of your physical health helps you stay, have a positive attitude. And this is so, so true. Taking care of your physical health can help you be a positive attitude. When you feel good physically, then guess what? You're more mentally, likely, and emotionally going to be positive. It's a no-brainer. We were talking about this one last night with, yes, sorry, today with Comfort Comfort. Remember to laugh. It's infectious. Having a good old guttural laugh makes you feel good. It makes you feel positive. Laughter has been shown to boost mood, reduce stress, and improve immune function. When we laugh, our bodies release endorphins, which have natural mood elevating properties. So give yourself a good laugh, but also treat yourself, guys. Treat yourself both physically and mentally. Make time for your self-care, your interest in your overall health and well-being. This helps to improve your positive moods. And the last one I'm going to talk for is practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It can help you us become more aware of our thoughts, feelings and surroundings and positively impact our mental and physical well-being. All these attributes, guys, that I've just talked about will help you stay not only on course, but also to have that positive mindset that we all want to have. Remember, the biggest killer is being negative. The biggest way to succeed is by being positive. Back to you, Chris. Uh, very good, Red. Hello, Marty. Hello, Red. I love you both. Good to see you here on this uh, hump day. Mike, 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 Mike. Um, absolutely, Red. Me, you know me. I like to laugh. If you guys just would have heard our conversation before we got on here, we had him laughing, I think. <laughs> uh First of all, I want to shout out to uh, Pakistan. Happy Independence Day. Uh, I was able to pop on real quick and say happy Independence Day, but I want to do it on this big channel. Happy Independence Day to Pakistan. Also, I believe tomorrow is India's uh, Independence Day. So shout out from all three of us. Happy Independence Day to both those countries. We love you. Don't you worry. And, uh, you know, as you can see where this is going today, we're we're all being, I think we're always are positive, but I, I found something today that really blew me away. And I've never heard this before. Maybe you have, uh, and I can't see if you have, but I'm going to ask anyway. Does anyone uh, realize, you know, when you hug somebody, why it feels so good? And of course you can't answer me because there's no one on here but us three. And I heard this this morning and it's the first time I've ever heard it. And I'm like, yeah, I know why hugs feel so good, I thought. But then this came into play. It's because your heart is on the left side of your body. Your right side's empty. And when you hug somebody, 
you got two hearts there and it's just that much of a loving feeling. Uh, and then I thought about, of course, I relate everything. You can ask my son to on passive. Um, what has Ash talked about since he started this? It's a company with heart. It's a company that wants to get out to the world and hug everyone it can. It's a company that wants to create success, create wealth. Uh, and it's a big, big company. I watched Warren Buffett's interview uh, again the other day of him talking about uh, many years ago when he invested into Coca-Cola. In the first year, they only sold 25 bottles of Coca-Cola. In today's market, I think it's $400 billion. And he went off to say that, you know, even something that starts small, you just got to stick with it. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in passive, we got a lot more than 25 bottles of Coca-Cola. Uh, we have solutions to many things. We have things that are going to come our way that I believe will put us at the top right off the rip. Um, and I, and I listen to people like Warren Buffett. I listen to some, um, very big entrepreneurs that have created something, nothing to something. And when you, when you talk about a passive, we've been doing this for uh, some of us, five, six years, some of us four, some of us less. And I think the biggest thing for me that I could try to tell people that I get a lot of calls, a lot of messages and um, stay loyal. Uh, one thing about me, I can't speak for anyone else, but I could speak for me, but I could probably speak for these two guys. I've always been loyal to what I was doing. When I worked for Ford Motor Company, I was loyal to Ford Motor Company. I only drew, uh, excuse me, drove Fords. And um, that's how I've always been. And a lot of people haven't figured that out yet. When you're loyal to something that you believe in so much, you go above and beyond to do what it takes to get the message out. Now, when we bring our message out and pass it for the last five, six years, and I'm including everyone, um, it was about creating that hug. It was about getting hearts together from all over the world. The foundation that Ash Mafara has built, north, south, east, west, it's huge. And then on top of that foundation, branches grew, which touched every single country in this world, all right, which gave hope to every single country in this world. And this is how I've always looked at Empassive because the hope um, that isn't there for a lot of people is there now. Is it taking a little bit longer? Yeah. Um, if you watch, <clears throat> excuse me, if you watch Keith today on the Shine the Light show, and I'm not advertising that show, but I am, he said some pretty cool things about uh, just connecting to different people, no matter what the religion, the gender, the color, whatever. And then he went on, he told us about a video he made. I watched it a long time ago and he compared me and Marty, uh, how we are two different individuals. One's a big marketer. The other guy just worked for 32 years. And then you start thinking about Red and, and Julie and Robin and Michael and everyone. And they bring us all together. We're all different people. We're all unique in our own ways, but we all came to this company called them Passive. Through, these, through this massive foundation, through these branches that have reached out to all over the world to spread a message of like, hey, there's something new, different. business A business totally run different than, it's not the same. It's not mapped out like every other business is. It's unique and different, and it's for everyone. It's for people that struggle every day. It's for people that never thought this could be possible. And to this day, we still have people say it's impossible. I'm here to tell you with these two guys that it is it is real. It's happening. Ash Mafara really is working his brains off around the clock to uh, what 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 Keith said this morning was a setback. And I liked what he said. And when you have a setback in a company, a business, you know what normally happens? They get stronger. They learn from different things. Setbacks are a good thing, believe it or not. Uh, even though you might not think that, but this setback has improved on passive. And I'm sure Ash Mafar someday is going to tell us that story, but that's how I believe. You've heard many, many entrepreneurs or big speakers, uh, Denzel Washington, one of my favorites, saying you don't worry about your wins, worry about your fails. Your wins are already there. 
But because you failed is why you won. You became stronger. You learned from it. Uh, I think it was Tom Brady I was watching this morning. He said almost identical to what he was saying. He goes, I don't care about my wins. It was my losses that put me where I am today. And that's how I think about impassive. Now, I don't know all the things that Ash Mafar is going through. Uh, I don't want to know. I just have trust and faith that he's going to absolutely do the right thing. And he's going to, the losses maybe are going to turn in for a big win for every single one of us, no matter who you are, no matter how broke you are, no matter how rich you are, no matter how, if you have health issues, it's going to turn around for the better for us. And there's no one that I've ever seen uh, that's done this for the world. I could go back in history and look at all kinds of different things. Uh, this guy just wants to create a successful life, a better life for you and your family. And uh, in this day and age, it's amazing with, with, with so many people divided on everything, not just political, but people are so divided. Uh, I came to a passive and I seen that division go away. Now, do we always agree on everything? No, we don't. I, that's the honest truth. A family, a real family always has disagreements. Uh, but I think what I'm seeing is we're able to talk things out. There's some, uh, as Red said, negative Nellies, I think you call them. Yeah, we do have some negative Nellies and unpassive. Okay. And uh, believe it or not, I think I've dealt with most of them. And all I could tell them is I have faith in Ash Mafar. But if you don't have faith, and I say this with a big heart, if I didn't believe in unpassive, if I didn't like something in unpassive, I would not be here. I think all three of us have th said that once in a while. I think Ash Mafara would even say, if I didn't believe in myself, if I didn't believe in passive, I wouldn't do it. And, and that's the attitude that I'm speaking for me that I have. If I didn't believe in this company, uh, there's no way I would be sitting here on a Wednesday talking to, I don't know how many people, a lot, and explaining that this is a great company. Um, I don't think I've ever gone against anyone's trust. I hope not. If I did, I'm sorry. I don't know where I'm sorry for, but this company is solid. <clears throat> it's a solid company with everything real. And we've said for the last many years, as long as Marty and Red been in it, that um, you just got to let it happen. All right. Things, things aren't built overnight. Uh, bridges aren't built overnight. Buildings aren't bo built overnight. And guess what? Businesses are not built overnight and it takes a while. It takes a while. Warren Buffett. First year in the first year he invested in the Coca-Cola, they sold 25 bottles of Coke. 25 bottles. Don't you think that the average person probably said, Oh, no way, dude. I'm out of here. He stuck with it. And if you can look up the stats, I think it's like a $400 billion company today. And he says, You gotta start somewhere. All right. I came into one passive. I didn't have to start. I was already there. All right. It took me to where I'm at now. And where am I at now? I'm looking at a company that's going to be the biggest and the greatest company in the world. Uh, and I got to be part of that. You got to be part of that. And this is why we're doing In the Chair, Shining the Light. And you got like Julie Wen, Narell Work on the tech guys. They're all doing this now. Why? Because we want the world to see the foundation of this company, of who stuck with it. Loyalty. The people that aren't loyal, sorry about your luck. Go, go fishing, okay? And I tell you where now, I'm, I'm not on vacation. Uh, I'm up here helping my family with some situations. Uh, some you know, some you don't. That's not important though. But just like Ash Mafara, Marty, Red, they're my family. If they're in a situation, that's what family does. You show up for them. And I'm here to tell you that I'm showing up for Ash Mafara uh, 100%. If he asked me for something, I would do it because I know he's done it for me in the past. And that isn't a monetary thing. Like people, think. Uh, I like to put that rumor to bed. Um, we do this from our heart because we believe in the company. I've been told quite a few times this week, how much you get paid, Chris? And uh, nothing. I'm doing this because I believe the payoff is going to be a lot bigger than you think in the future when this gets going. And it's just not going to be me, Red and Marty. It's going to be the world. Those branches I talked about. Imagine people in Africa. All right. And I could show you 10 videos a day I get from African orphanages 
and kids who go hungry every every couple of days because they ran out of food. <clears throat> this is what Impassive is doing. This is what Ash Mafara has always wanted to do. It just keeps getting better and better. Um, like I said, setbacks are a great thing, whether you like it or not. And the only person that's got to go through the hell right now is Ash Mafara, and that's what he's doing. But he's doing it for us. Me, I might have gave up a long time ago. But this guy, he's got a solid, rock-headed stubbornness, like do or die. This is my baby. I'm never going to stop. And I think I wish more people would have that attitude because we really don't have to do anything uh, but talk about it or share it. But you really don't have to do nothing. Uh, Keith, again, this morning made a, a couple of real good things about done for you. And he used a, a baker uh, and a chef, whatever. And says, when it's all done for you, the chef's there, the kitchen's there, the, the ingredients are there. And you're sitting back, you're enjoying yourself watching it. Uh, that's impassive. Now we do a little bit more, I think, work. Uh, and I wouldn't call it work. I call it just giving blessings because that's what we're supposed to be doing in Unpassive. The love that came out of Passive is it's undeniably beautiful. Uh, listening to people in different languages, even I don't know what they're saying, but I do talk about a company that's so great. Uh, country celebrating holidays like Independence Day all over the world, seeing their culture. That's impassive. A passive isn't one culture. It's every culture. Again, those branches reaching out to every single uh, part of the world. And that's the greatest thing for me. Uh, you hear us say all the time, I never would have met these guys. And a lot of people, oh, that's so stupid. It's not stupid. Because I've learned something from Red. I've learned something from Marty. I've learned something from every person I met. And you know why? Because each person I met, this is another thing I heard this morning that I love. Each person I met, they gave me a little piece of God's love from them. And I learned, wow, they got a little little worse than I do. Wow, they got a lot of worse than I do. But look at them, they're smiling. They believe in something that's going to change that. And I absolutely love that. Now, I did see someone just show up. I'm going to hand it back to Marty because I don't know if he's coming on or not just yet. But Marty, I'm going to bring it back to you. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I want to add a little bit before I get into a coughing fit. Can't guarantee it. You know, you can practice to think positive. I just want to let you know, you can practice to think positive. You might have grew up around people that were negative a lot and always everything, the glass is half empty, whatever. And, and I'll give you some examples. I've never done that before. That would be kind of a negative way to approach it. But you could be, it's an opportunity to learn something new. That's the positive, the same situation. It's too complicated. I'll tackle it from a different angle like that. I don't have the resources. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Okay. You, 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 if you believe it, you can achieve it. I've had that happen to me in my whole life. I, I went places. I moved up in where I worked and I shouldn't have, according if you went by the paper. Okay. I'm too lazy to get this done. I couldn't I, I couldn't fit it into my schedule, but I can re-examine my priorities. There's the answer to the, the negative part. There's no way I, that will work. You hear people say, there's no way that'll work. I can try to make it work. It's too radical a change. Let's take a chance. You see the difference? It's just little things that can change everything. No one bothers to communicate with me. That's what I get. It's always a blame someone else. I'll see if I can open the channel of communication. Pry it open. You get what you want. You get what you deserve. If you believe you deserve it, you should be part of it. You can be. A lot of this opening things and doors opening, you make it happen. You make it happen. Uh, I'm not going to get any better at this, right? They already gave up. I'm not going to get any better at this. I'll give it another try. That's how you got to do it. That's people that come in. That's people that fall and say, it's not the falling that's bad. It's not getting up. You just get up. Um, Edison, I think he took a thousand times to make the light bulb. What the freak would have happened if he quit at 500? 
Well, one thing I'd be in the dark, right? So it, it, let's just think about practice being positive. Practice it. And if there is negative, a lot of people will say, I remember at work, uh, they had a new president. And I went in his office and I said, do me one favor. Go by what I do, not by what people say. And he said to me, I've been in this business a long time. I don't go by what people say. I said, trust me. If somebody says somebody's green enough and enough people say it, I start to look like a line. I'm just asking you to judge me for who I am. And and, and, and that's the way I work. Uh, that's how I live my whole life. Anyway, I'm done chatting. I want to introduce uh, my brother, the CEO. I love the man, love the family. Mr. Ashby Farah, thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. I hope you're doing great. Uh, you are looking fantastic. And I wonder what's your secret, Chris Johnson. You're glowing. Little fish, little fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I heard you talking about uh, uh, Coca-Cola, obviously, it doesn't matter how much they sold or whatever to achieve the goal. At the end, they sold us poison. And that's not what we're working on. Uh, the second thing is uh, there is probably a couple of scenarios. There are, I think, three. I heard 1,000 experiments by Thomas Addison. I heard and read 2,000 and up to 10,000. But it sounds like more than a thousand times at least, okay? And that's a lot of attempts. I can relate to that. Uh, perhaps I don't want to hold you up uh, too long here. I want to uh, give you a quick update. Uh, we, we are in a, in a stage uh, in on passive where uh, it sounds like we're headed to the unknown. If you're uh, uh, watching, uh, or the possibilities are open to either way. Uh, but uh, I'm here to tell you from the background and what's happening uh, in the field, uh, on the ground, we are not going to go uh, away. Uh, perhaps uh, we want you to get ready for the next phase of our journey, uh, soon to be more clear to you. Uh, we're going up, not down. And uh, I also want to address realistically to, to respect your intelligence uh, where we are today. Uh, we have failed so far in some uh, areas and uh, without blaming an excuse, but one thing that we uh, obviously had uh, some uh, uh, I'm going to put it this way. We always believed that the bigger the dream, the bigger the team. That's quantity-wise. But also, we added repeatedly that the better the dream or the better the team, either or, so that the, who's on your team will determine how soon or how good your your dream will arrive. And so we obviously focused out of a good, you know, uh, faith and uh, we took the leap to do the volume thinking it's a big dream, we go with that. But it slipped in a way, who's on your team? A little bit. So we got some I would say uh, am I allowed to say the corrupt people? Yeah, I think I can do that. I can do whatever I want. So we got some bad apples and uh, whether lack uh, like incompetent or uh, by design basically criminals to uh, do their act. That is a big, big uh, slap that we've had in on passive. 
So we have a beautiful, big dream. We've attracted incredible individuals like yourself. And we're willing to pay the price. We're going in a beautiful direction, incredible journey, and, and give it whatever it takes. But obviously, some people, you know, put in those, um, throwing those sticks in the wheel, as you understand. Uh, and we realize that. That's not the end. So changes are necessary, as I often say. But now you don't start all over or from square one, as we say. You start from experience. And more, a higher belief level in your journey and in your vision because you know how valuable it is because everybody's eyes, at least the good and the bad, are on it. So you attract the good people, but with volume, you've attracted some not so good people, okay? It happens. Now, to summarize what happened and why we got, like, let's say, a severe block in the journey in the recent months. Number one, wrong people on the team. Gave them too much trust and faith and their lack character, integrity, and lack uh, caliber and the uh, uh, expertise as well, the skill level. We were probably too busy, too excited on the vision and, and more focused on that and attracting the right people and, and catering to that. But at the same time, uh, you know, with volume, like I told you, those people came. So that is the first failure we've had not to make sure that we have the right uh, part or align the mentality and the character with the vision. Okay, so you cannot have, okay, a pure, beautiful, radical vision to, to be impactful to, to all humanity and have people who are self-serving or uh, completely clueless about business or uh, that regardless of how you treat them, you know, even if you give them what you give them, they just don't have it. You do not give what you don't have. You cannot give what you do not have. On the other side, what happened as a result of that, there was, we failed to, to get to where we want to go in time. So the first thing, the time, perhaps the quality of what we wanted. So not exactly what we wanted, and not in the timeline that we wanted. Those are the disappointments that we've had. As a result of that, it created a vacuum for the outside like-minded and hearted people to, to chime in with their poison too. You understand? So that loophole done by the wrong pals attracted the wrong pals from the outside. What so we can obviously learn a lesson here to to watch who is with us, okay, and and you know monitor monitor them in a better way, but not in any way. I want to assure you something here. Something. If I go back in time, do I regret having the founders uh, program and allowing you in in the early stages and live that? I personally don't regret that as painful as it, it, it was from the outside, not from you, I still believe it gave us higher value. So whatever was done by the wrong guys is fixable, replaceable, 
but the value that we've gained together, you and I, outpowers and overpowers the uh, the other corruption. So, which is normal with any big achievement, you also have some sacrifices. It's the law of gravity. You you uh, you you gain something. You have to lose something to create uh, room for that. And to be realistic, okay, without any emotional, uh, positive, optimistic attitude, okay. This is just a one hiccup. It's not it's not fatal. It's not going to destroy us. Like it's not going to kill us and that's it, it's over. Nor it's an excuse that okay, you see, it's bad, it's horrible, we got slammed, we got robbed, we got this, we got that, okay. It's over, we can we have no no. Yes, severe attacks, big challenges. But we're bigger, okay? We're bigger. And our drive to achieve this dream way higher than anything. So even if we have to do this again and again and again, we're not quitting because we're winners. And we all know winners never quit. That's all I wanted to, to deliver today. Perhaps to be more specific, I need more time. So I'll be able to fill you in possibly next week, okay? So if you get this message or you want others that are following us so we can tell you about the next phase where we're headed, this is important, okay? Where we are, got a block, okay? but we're navigating the, the solutions, okay, or the alternatives, and we will get through that. We will pass this barrier, okay? And then once we are on the safe side, I'll be able to come here and tell you more specific the next step. And you are going to be pleased, the least to say. At least the fact that we're not quitting and we still believe in the dream, we believe in you and you deserve the opportunity, that's quite enough. But the more you know, the more you're gonna admire what we've done and what we're doing to your own benefit. My name is Ash Mufara, and I'm the next president of uh, anything, my house or Chris Johnson's boat. That's all I wanted to say. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. You, brother. Uh, I'm going to send it back to you. So if you're still going on, I have uh, three more minutes to listen. Go ahead, have Mark. you got any more? Or you want me to leave? I'm drinking. <laughs> Go. Go back to work. Go back to work. <laughs> you get back to work. This yeah. Work. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I work. Yeah. We appreciate right. you. Time, of Ash. Course. You showed up. No, I appreciate it. Uh, big yeah, time. absolutely. Red, do you have any more? No. When I was talking about positivity, this man, he brings the biggest positivity no, we could that's ever right. have. Right. I, I don't want to. We we're closing. Red, Chris, you got anything? Yeah, Ash needs another haircut. <laughs> another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> I love you, man. Thank you for doing doing what you're doing. Tell your wife and kids we love them and appreciate you bar them borrowing you to us once in a while. Is that right? That's Thank right you so like much. That. Like that. We love you. <laughs> Close man. enough. That is my and, and, and we're gonna win. All right. Thank we're, you. Hang Bye, everybody. Else, thank you. I mean, God bless. Thank you. Bye.